Welcome to the KBiz 2019 Exhibitor Readiness Program. I am Lane Vento, the Operations Manager with KBiz, and during this video, I'll provide information and tips to help you navigate your way through exhibiting at KBiz 2019 and helping to ensure a successful show. We are here to help you throughout the process. If you have any questions or need any assistance, please feel free to reach out to myself or Lisa. This video is divided into five separate components, a general overview, planning and preparation, moving in and setting up, show time, and packing up and moving out. We'll start with the general overview. KBiz 2019 will be back at the Las Vegas Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. KBiz will again be part of Design and Construction Week, co-locating with the International Builders Show for the sixth straight year. General show hours will be 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Tuesday, February 19th through Thursday, February 21st. South Hall's S1 and S2 on the lower level of the South Building and the Salon by KBiz will open to attendees at 8 a.m. on all show days. North Hall's N1 and N2 in the North Building and Central Hall's C4 and C5 in the Central Building will open to attendees at 9 a.m. on all show days. All halls close at 5 p.m. on all show days. Exhibits for both KBiz and IBS can be found in the halls in the North, Central, and South Buildings with additional KBiz exhibits in the Salon by KBiz in the Bronze Hall. As you begin your planning and preparation for KBiz, be sure to check out the KBiz website at www.kbiz.com. The KBiz website has essential information about the show, for exhibitors, and how to plan your trip. Be sure to check this website regularly for updates and important information. The Exhibitor Service Center is for current exhibitors and is to be used to manage the exhibiting process. Your Exhibitor Console is your one-stop shop for managing your company profile and registering your booth staff, as well as many other Exhibitor functions. You will also use your Exhibitor Console to submit show management forms, such as provide EAC information, submit insurance certificates, and request hanging sign approval. The forms can be found in the Invoices and Logistics section under Important Exhibitor Forms. The Exhibitor Service Kit contains important information that all exhibitors should know, such as show information, critical dates and deadlines, the most up-to-date target freight move-in plan and schedule, official service provider brochures and order forms, rules and regulations as well as booth design and construction and hanging sign guidelines, shipping and material handling information, and much more. There are many dates and deadlines to be aware of as you plan for KBiz, and this list is just a sample of the more pertinent deadlines. A full list of critical dates and deadlines for KBiz can be found in the Exhibitor Service Kit. All exhibiting companies and their appointed contractors must submit a certificate of insurance with the required coverage as outlined here. All certificates of insurance for both exhibitors and EACs must be submitted using the insurance submission form found in the Exhibitors Exhibitor Console. All exhibiting companies and their appointed contractors must submit a certificate of insurance with the appropriate verbiage as outlined here. Booth insurance should be obtained through your company's insurance broker or purchased through the Marsh Total Event Insurance Program. Hotel reservations can be made at kbiz.com by clicking on Hotel Reservations under the Plan Your Trip menu. OnPeak is the official housing agent for KBiz. 
Please beware of unauthorized hotel solicitors that may contact you. These other companies are not affiliated with or endorsed by KBiz and may mislead you. As the exclusive catering company at the Las Vegas Convention Center, Centerplate must provide all food and beverage distributed from your booth and approve all on-site food preparation within your booth. All exhibitors intending to distribute food and or beverage samples from your booth or conduct cooking demonstrations within your booth must complete Centerplate's food and beverage sampling on-site preparation approval form found in the exhibitor service kit. Exhibitors intending to hold hospitality functions within their booth space after show hours with attendees or press as invited guests must submit to KBiz Show Management the pre-post show hours booth function request form found in the exhibitor's exhibitor console. After hours events are limited to February 19th or 20th and must conclude by 6.30 p.m. Only exhibitors with 2,500 square feet or larger booths may hold after hours booth functions. There is a fee of $3,000 per booth function to offset the costs associated with an after hours booth function. Functions held within your booth with only staff that have exhibitor badges does not require approval. Now we'll touch on some booth basics. The equipment that is included with your booth varies based on booth type. Linear, corner, and perimeter booths come with 8 foot high back wall drape, 3 foot high side rail drape, and a 7 inch by 44 inch booth ID sign. Peninsula, split island, and end cap booths include 8 foot high back wall drape and a 7 inch by 40 inch booth ID sign. Island booths do not come with drape or ID signs. All other equipment and services are the responsibility of the exhibitor. Please note that KBiz is a no concrete show. All booths must order or supply their own carpet or floor covering to completely fill your booth space. The standard aisle carpet in the KBiz exhibit halls will be dark purple similar to the sample pictured here. Exhibitors in the outdoor living pavilion will have green astroturf in the surrounding aisles, while the DCW highway aisle separating the KBiz and IBS exhibit halls will be black carpet. The standard booth drape color in the exhibit hall for booths receiving drape will be gray. Any hanging signs, double-sided signs, logos, and graphics must be set back no less than five feet from adjacent booths. All exposed exhibit components extending above the drape lines must have a finished look. If it is determined that drape is required to cover the exposed areas, this shall be ordered at the exhibitor's expense. Height restrictions will be covered in more depth next. When designing your booth, it is important to be aware of the wiggle room factor. The width and depth of your booth structure should be designed so any side adjacent to another exhibitor's booth is three inches less than the dimensions of your booth space. This is to allow space for the dividing drape and utility cables or hoses that must be run between booths. KBiz is a cubic content show, and booths must be constructed per the booth design and construction guidelines located in the KBiz Exhibitor Services Kit. Linear, corner, and end cap booths may use the full width and depth of the booth space, less wiggle room, up to a maximum height of 10 feet. Perimeter booths may use the full width and depth of the booth space, less wiggle room, up to a maximum height of 12 feet. Peninsula Island and Split Island booths may use the full width and depth of the booth space, less wiggle room, 
up to a 20-foot combined maximum height between the height of the booth structure and the height of the hanging sign at the tallest points of each. It is the responsibility of each exhibitor to ensure that your booth complies with the KBIS rules and regulations and booth and construction guidelines. KBIS show management will not review booth designs in advance of the show to confirm compliance. Booths with design and or construction violations will need to make necessary changes on site at the exhibitor's cost to comply with show rules. Booth waivers should only be requested by those exhibitors that have booth designs that do not comply with the KBIS booth design and construction guidelines published in the KBIS Exhibitor Services Kit. Please do not submit a booth waiver request if you are in compliance with these guidelines. Requests for a booth design variance must be submitted using the booth waiver request form found in your exhibitor console. Requests will be reviewed by show management and exhibitors will be notified via email of the decision. If approved, a printed copy of the approval email should be brought to show site. After receiving an approval, if any modifications are made to the booth or if the design changes in any way other than what is outlined in the booth waiver request, exhibitors must request another booth waiver from show management. Height restrictions vary by booth type and if you have a hanging sign. Linear corner and end cap booths may be set to a maximum height of 20 feet and are not allowed to have a hanging sign. Perimeter booths may be set to a maximum height of 12 feet and are not allowed to have a hanging sign. Peninsula Island and Split Island booths may be set to a 20 foot combined maximum height between the height of the booth structure and the height of the hanging sign at the tallest points of each. At the bottom here are examples of booths with a hanging sign with the combined heights of the structure and hanging sign equaling 20 feet for reference. As previously noted, only island, split island, and peninsula booths that are 400 square feet or larger are permitted to use hanging signs. Linear, perimeter, and end cap booths do not qualify for hanging signs. Island, split island, and peninsula booths that are less than 400 square feet also do not qualify for hanging signs. The maximum hang heights vary based on exhibit hall. The north and central halls have a standard ceiling height of 30 feet except for select locations in the north halls that are lower. 25 feet from the floor to the top of the hanging sign is the maximum hang height in these halls. Signs may be hung at heights of 26 to 30 feet in these halls with approval from KBIS show management. The south halls have a standard ceiling height of 24 feet 6 inches and 22 feet from the floor to the top of the hanging sign is the maximum hang height for this hall. The salon by KBIS has varying ceiling heights and weight limitations. All hanging sign and rigging orders for this hall need to be reviewed and approved by Freeman prior to placing your rigging order by contacting Jessica Kelso with Freeman Rigging at jessica.kelso at freemanco.com. The Las Vegas Convention Center has lighting restrictions that you should be aware of. The use of stem or track mounted halogen light fixtures is not allowed unless they utilize a self shielded bulb and the bulb wattage does not exceed the listed wattage permitted by the fixture manufacturer. Here are some samples of approved and disapproved halogen bulbs at the Las Vegas Convention Center. KBiz offers a variety of affordable advertising and sponsorship opportunities to maximize your exposure and brand presence to the entire KBiz and Design and Construction Week audience. See the opportunities available at kbiz.com on the Advertising and Sponsorship page under the Exhibit menu. Now we are going to discuss moving in and setting up. The move-in schedule varies based on your hall and booth location. General move-in hours are February 13th through the 18th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Target move-in begins in the North Halls N1 and N2 and Central Halls C4 and C5 
on Wednesday, February 13th at 8 a.m. Due to another event in the South Building prior to KBiz and the time to construct the salon by KBiz, target move-in begins in these locations on Friday, February 15th at 1 p.m. Exhibitors are allowed 24-hour access to the exhibit hall during move-in, but the exhibitor service desk will only be in operation from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on these days, and some services provided by Freeman and other vendors may be limited outside of these times. All booths must be completely set by 5 p.m. on Monday, February 18th. No move-in will be allowed on the morning of Tuesday, February 19th. The time that morning prior to show opening should be used for final touch-ups to booths. All exhibitors have a targeted freight move-in date and time. You can determine your targeted freight move-in day by referring to the color-coded targeted move-in plans found in the exhibitor service kit. The targeted freight move-in schedule pertains only to freight arrival. It does not necessarily represent the day the exhibitor should start setting up. The targeted freight move-in date primarily applies to direct shipments. It is the day that exhibitors shipping direct to the convention center can have their shipments arrive. All delivery vehicles must check into the marshalling yard and await deployment to the convention center to be unloaded. The delivery of the direct shipments to the booth will depend on when trucks check into the marshalling yard, what position in line the truck is in to be sent to the convention center for unloading, how long it takes Freeman to unload the truck at the loading dock, log in all parts of the shipment, and then deliver them to the booth. Due to the amount of direct deliveries each day, this can take hours. Even though an exhibitor has a target time of 8 a.m. on a specific date, this does not mean the shipment can come directly to the convention center and get to the booth by 8 a.m. to start setting up. As a result, exhibitors should not schedule setup labor at their exact targeted freight time. The way that the target freight move-in date applies to advanced shipments is that this is the day and time that Freeman guarantees that warehouse deliveries will be delivered to the booth by. In this scenario, if an exhibitor has a targeted freight time of 8 a.m. on a specific day and has shipped everything to the advanced warehouse, they could order labor to start at 8 a.m. as their shipment will be at their booth. This is why, if exhibitors are concerned with the amount of time available for setup, we recommend they ship to the advanced warehouse as this provides them with the maximum amount of setup time available. Also, the exhibitor does not need to be present on their target freight day if they do not feel the need to be there. If an exhibitor is targeted with four days to set up but they only need two days, they only need to make sure any shipments sent directly to the convention center arrive on their target date. Any advanced shipments will be placed at their booth by the target day. When you arrive to set up, your shipment will be at the booth and you will be ready to begin working. Please note the schedule that exhibitor registration will be open on site. If you receive your badge in the mail in advance of the show, please have this available on all move-in days. If you do not receive your badge in the mail in advance of the show, wristbands will be issued by the security guards at the entrances to each exhibit hall. Once exhibitor registration opens, all exhibitor personnel should use their exhibitor badge to access the exhibit hall. EAC should not be given badges and instead pick up the daily wristband at the EAC check-in desks for each exhibit hall. Official service providers are those appointed by KBiz Show Management or the Las Vegas Convention Center as the provider of specified services, either exclusively or preferred. KBiz is only partnered with the suppliers listed here. Please beware of unauthorized solicitations by other service providers not affiliated with KBiz. For freight shipments, a significant portion of your on-site labor charges can be eliminated or greatly reduced by following some simple suggestions. Use the printable Freeman shipping labels found in the KBiz Exhibitor Services Kit based on the location of your booth for either the advanced warehouse or direct to show shipments. Plan to use two labels on each piece you will be shipping and use a waterproof marker to adjust the label and mark your booth number. Previous shipping labels should be removed or obliterated. All shipments must be properly boxed or crated. The Freeman Advanced Warehouse will only accept crated, boxed, or skidded shipments. 
Uncreated or pad wrapped shipments will not be accepted. Articles packed in Excelsior, such as wood shavings, must be entirely enclosed due to fire hazard. Ensure shipments to the Freeman Advance Warehouse arrive between the dates of January 9th and February 6th to avoid fees. Ensure shipments directly to the Las Vegas Convention Center arrive on your specific targeted freight move-in date to avoid off-target charges. Prior to leaving your plant or office, make sure as much of the electrical interconnection and complex wiring to your equipment as possible is done. The person in charge of installing your exhibit should know how and when shipments were made in case they become lost. Tracking numbers and memoranda of shipping details in their possession will save valuable time. Prepay all shipments. Collect shipments will not be accepted at the warehouse. For advanced shipments to the Freeman Warehouse, be sure to use the printable Freeman shipping labels found in the KBiz Exhibitor Services Kit for the hall your booth is located in. To ensure timely arrival of your materials at show site, freight should arrive between January 9, 2019 and February 6, 2019. Your freight will still be received after February 6, but additional charges will be incurred. The warehouse will receive shipments Monday through Friday, except holidays, from 8 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. No appointment is necessary. The warehouse will accept crates, cartons, skids, trunks, cases, and carpets or pads. Loose or pad wrap material must be sent directly to show site. All shipments must have a bill of lading or delivery slip indicating the number of pieces, type of merchandise, and weight. Shipments received without receipts or freight bills, such as Federal Express and UPS, will be delivered to the booth without guarantee of piece count or condition. Certified weight tickets must accompany all shipments. Warehouse freight will be delivered to the booth by your target freight day and time. The labels pictured below are the correct labels to use for advanced warehouse shipments based on the exhibit hall your booth is in, whether it's the North Hall, Central Hall, South Hall, or Salon by KBiz. Write in the exhibitor name, booth number, and the number of pieces being shipped. Note that the letter at the beginning of the booth number has been pre-printed on the labels. Please do not use any other labels as using these labels will ensure that your shipment arrives safely. When sending your shipment direct to show site, use the printable Freeman shipping labels found in the KBiz Exhibitor Services Kit for the hall your booth is located in. Freight will be accepted only during exhibitor move-in days. Please refer to the target freight move-in plans for the hall your booth is located in on the Exhibitor Service Center page of www.kbiz.com to determine your freight move-in date and please ship accordingly. All shipments must have a bill of lading or delivery slip indicating the number of pieces, type of merchandise, and weight. Shipments received without receipts or freight bills, such as Federal Express and UPS, will be delivered to the booth without guarantee of piece count or condition. Certified weight tickets must accompany all shipments. All carriers must check in at the marshalling yard upon arrival and will be dispatched to the convention center loading dock as space opens up in the order they checked in. Time should be allowed for your shipment to be accepted, weighed and logged in by Freeman before it will be delivered to your booth. Please schedule labor accordingly. The labels below are the correct labels to use for direct shipments to the Las Vegas Convention Center based on the exhibit hall you are in, whether it is the North Hall, Central Hall, South Hall, or Salon by KBiz. Write in the exhibitor name, booth number, and number of pieces. Note that the letter at the beginning of the booth number has been pre-printed on the labels. Please do not use any other labels as using these labels will help ensure that your shipment arrives safely. All hanging signs must be shipped in containers to the Freeman Advance Warehouse to arrive between January 9th and February 6, 2019. Use the printable Freeman hanging sign shipping labels found in the KBiz Exhibitor Service Kit for the hall your booth is located in. Please take all necessary measures to identify that your shipment is a hanging sign. 
Also, mark the bill of lading hanging sign and be sure to prepay all shipments. Phoenix International Business Logistics Incorporated has been appointed the official international freight forwarder and U.S. Customs broker for KBiz 2019. By using PIBL's international network, your company can derive these benefits. Alleviate potential transport and customs clearance problems and ensure your exhibit is delivered on time. Increase the efficiency and reliability of the entire transportation process. PIBL will coordinate the customs clearance of all inbound freight through U.S. Customs and Border Protection and will arrange timely delivery to the show site. Their licensed personnel are on site before, during, and after the show to answer questions about customs clearance and to assist you with the re-exportation of freight after the show closes. Be aware that the deadline for International Ocean Freight to arrive at the Port of Los Angeles is January 28, 2019. Also, the deadline for International Ocean Freight to arrive at the Port of Los Angeles and the deadline for International Air Freight to arrive at the Los Angeles Airport is February 4, 2019. As the official service contractor, Freeman is the exclusive provider of freight services for KBiz. Your material handling payment includes unloading of your exhibit material either at the warehouse or at the Las Vegas Convention Center, storing up to 30 days in advance if shipped to the advance warehouse, delivery of the shipment to your booth, the handling of empty containers to and from storage during the show, removal of material from the booth for reloading onto outbound carriers. Material handling should not be confused with the cost to transport your exhibit material to and from the convention center. Please be aware of the different types of shipping and packaging to know what material handling charge you will receive from Freeman. A crated shipment is one with materials that are skidded or in any type of shipping container that can be unloaded at the dock with no additional handling required. A special handling shipment is any material delivered by a carrier in such a manner that it requires additional handling, such as ground unloading, stacked or constricted space unloading, designated piece unloading, shipment integrity, alternate delivery location, loads mixed with pre-wrap material, no documentation or shipments that require additional time, equipment or labor to unload. Federal Express, UPS, and DHL are included in this category due to their delivery procedures. An uncrated shipment is one with material that are shipped loose or pad wrapped and or unskidded machinery without proper lifting points. A carpet and or pad only shipment consists of loose carpet or padding and requires additional labor and equipment to unload. When it comes to material handling, Please remember that all freight is moved by forklifts. Please do not arrive with loose loads and all items should be crated, boxed, or palletized. The marshalling yard for KBiz is located at 6555 West Serene Avenue in Las Vegas, Nevada, 89139. This location will not accept deliveries. This location is only for the staging of trucks delivering to the Las Vegas Convention Center. All delivering carriers making direct to show site shipments must check in at the marshalling yard prior to delivering to the facility. All drivers must check in no later than 2.30 p.m. on the target move in date to guarantee being unloaded that day. Please be advised that certified wait tickets are required when checking into the marshalling yard. For your convenience, Freeman has available a full-size certified scale at the marshalling yard. If your driver has valid certified weight tickets, Freeman will accept these tickets and your driver will not have to scale at the Freeman marshalling yard. All carriers will be assigned an unloading number according to driver check-in time. Privately owned vehicles are defined as cars, pickup trucks, vans, and other trucks primarily designed for passenger use, not cargo or freight. Vehicles that do not qualify for this service or that have material that requires mechanical assistance to unload will be directed to the Freeman Marshalling Yard. 
POV service days and hours during move-in are Sunday, February 17th, 2019 from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Monday, February 18th, 2019 from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. During move-out, POV service days and hours are Thursday, February 21st, 2019 from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. and Friday, February 22nd, 2019 from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Freeman is the official service contractor for KBiz 2019. As the official services contractor, Freeman has the responsibility for material handling, electrical, all suspended rigging, and booth cleaning services. To help you understand the official services contractor responsibilities, we ask that you read and observe the Exhibitor and Official Services Contractor Information document found in the KBiz 2019 Exhibitor Services Kit to aid in a smooth and efficient move-in and move-out of the show. An Exhibitor Appointed Contractor, or EAC, is any company other than one of the designated official contractors for KBiz, which an exhibitor wants to employ inside the exhibit hall during move-in and or move-out. Exhibitors using an EAC, or installation and dismantling contractor, other than Freeman to set up or tear down their exhibit, must access their KBiz exhibitor console and complete the exhibitor appointed contractor form and upload a certificate of insurance with the required coverage for each contracted company. The EAC must be licensed, insured, and authorized to work in the Las Vegas Convention Center. The EAC must also adhere to all rules and regulations of KBiz, Freeman, the Las Vegas Convention Center, and the local unions. All EAC personnel must check in at the EAC check-in desks to pick up the daily color pattern wristband prior to admission to the exhibit hall. Personnel must have proof of company affiliation and a photo ID. It is the exhibitor's responsibility to make sure that all EAC staff are wearing the daily wristband color pattern for access to the exhibit hall. Here are some handy actions to take when you arrive at your booth space. Verify the correct location and measure the booth space floor markings before starting to set up. Ensure all packages and freight have arrived at your booth space. If ordered from Freeman, make sure your electrical and carpet have been installed. If you've ordered labor, you must go to the Freeman labor desk to inform them that you are ready to begin. If you are having any problems, please involve show management or Freeman immediately to allow us the opportunity to fix the problem. Communication is key. Ask your floor manager or Freeman concierge or go to the KBIS show office or the Freeman service desk if you need assistance. The floor of the exhibit halls will be marked to indicate all freight free or no freight aisles. If your booth borders one of these aisles, please keep your crates and materials out of these aisles so that they remain clear for the free movement of freight throughout move in and move out. In an effort to ensure a successful show opening for KBiz, we are enforcing a new clean floor policy in 2019. If you are working with an exhibit house, please discuss in advance of the show how this policy will affect their work schedule. The clean floor policy for KBiz 2019 states, to allow sufficient time to complete the laying of the aisle carpet and overall cleaning of the exhibit hall for show opening, all crates and skids must be tagged and removed from the exhibit hall floor by the designated day and time based on your target freight move-in. If your target freight move-in date is Wednesday, February 13th through Saturday, February 16th, all your crates and skids must be tagged with empty labels for removal from the exhibit hall floor no later than 10 p.m. on Sunday, February 17th. If your target freight move-in date is Sunday, February 17th or Monday, February 18th prior to 2 p.m., all your crates and skids must be tagged with empty labels for removal from the exhibit hall floor no later than 2 p.m. on Monday, February 18th. There will be no exceptions to this policy. Crates without empty or accessible storage stickers will be tagged by the area floor managers or Freeman and removed from the exhibit hall, whether full or empty. 
Exhibitors may request product to be returned to their booth, but at the exhibitor's expense. Depending on where the crates are located, it may not be possible to access the crates prior to move out. With our targeted move-in schedule, this new policy is realistic. Following the policy and working together will ensure a smooth show opening for everyone. Please follow the clean floor policy for labeling your crates for removal from the show floor and being placed in storage by Freeman during the show. Remove any old empty stickers from previous shows. Apply new empty stickers with your company name and booth number. Empty stickers can be obtained from the Freeman Service Center, and you'll need to make sure you use the correct color empty sticker for your booth location based on the empty sticker floor plan found at the Service Center. The Freeman Concierge for your area can also provide empty stickers. Items marked with empty stickers will be stored by Freeman during the show and will start to be returned to your booth after the show closes. Do not leave anything you will need during the show inside items being marked with empty stickers as they may not be accessible during the show. Empty crates, boxes, containers, etc. cannot be stored in or behind your booth due to fire marshal restrictions. Accessible storage service is available at show site for exhibitors to easily access their product samples and literature during show days only. The charge for accessible storage consists of a daily storage charge plus labor to place in and remove materials from storage. There will be a per day charge for partial usage or a per day charge for full trailer usage as you see here. Please note that the minimum order for accessible storage is equal to the number of show days of the show, which for KBiz is three. When you are ready for your stored materials to be delivered to and or from your booth, please notify the Freeman personnel at the Freeman Service Center. Labor to deliver your materials to and from your booth will be charged at the rates shown here. Labor charges apply for placing items into storage, removing items from storage, and delivering them to your booth during the show, and returning any remaining items to your booth at the conclusion of the show. If you place a labor order with Freeman, please note the following. Start time is guaranteed only at the start of the working day and at the close of the show. If shipping direct to show site, be sure to allow sufficient time for the direct shipment freight delivery process when scheduling installation labor. Do not schedule labor to start at 8 a.m. on your targeted freight move-in day if shipping direct to show site as your shipment could take hours to arrive at your booth. A one hour minimum per man is applied. Labor thereafter is charged in half hour increments. The supervisor must check in at the service desk to pick up the labor. Labor must be canceled in writing 24 hours in advance to avoid a one hour cancellation fee per worker. When scheduling dismantle labor, be sure to allow sufficient time for empty containers to be returned to your booth before scheduling the start time of your labor. If exhibitors desire to have the lights immediately over their booth space turned off to enhance the look of their booth, this is allowed at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Orders for turning out lights over your booth should be made with Freeman at the Freeman Service Center on site. If any of the lights that are desired to be off are in the aisles outside of the booth, KBIS Show Management will review to see if there will be any impact on neighboring booths and approve or deny the lights out request. Lights over neighboring booths will not be turned off unless agreed to by the exhibitor beneath those lights. Exhibitor service centers will be located in multiple locations to best service exhibitors during KBIS. Follow the Freeman Service Center signs to find the one closest to your booth. For booths in the North Halls N1 and N2 and Central Halls C4 and C5, the Freeman Service Center is in the Central Hall in the service area under Halls C1 and C3. Other official service providers will be found in the lobby outside of Halls C4. For booths in the South Halls S1 and S2 and the Salon by KBiz, the Exhibitor Service Center will be located in Hall S1 in aisle SL1900 behind booth SL1815. Staff will be available to assist with the services from Freeman, Centerplate, 
Cox Communications, Experient Lead Retrieval, Phoenix International, PWP Studio, and TLC Convention and Plant Services. Take advantage of Freeman discount pricing by ordering online at www.freeman.com by the discount deadline date of January 23, 2019. Using the enhanced Freeman Online, you will enjoy easy access to added features and functions, as well as the high caliber of Freeman services you've come to expect, before, during, and after the show. To place online orders, you'll be required to log in with your unique username and password. If this is your first time to use Freeman Online, click on the Create an Account link. Additionally, you can now access Freeman Online from any device, desktop, laptop, or tablet via the new Freeman Online mobile app. The Freeman Online mobile app brings the service to you with the convenience of self-service on show site. The Freeman Online mobile app is available for Apple, Android, or Windows devices and operating systems and can be downloaded by searching Freeman Online mobile. The Freeman Online mobile app provides access to Freeman Online and key benefits include receiving freight updates via text or email, submitting service requests to Freeman, viewing previously placed orders or placing new orders, requesting shipping labels, and receiving empty return notifications. Safety is a key concern for everyone. Please remember that the exhibit hall floor is a construction zone during move in and move out. Always be aware of your surroundings. Be mindful, considerate, and respectful of everything and everyone around you. Always watch out for forklifts, scooters, and lifts on the floor, as well as workers overhead. Avoid standing on any unsafe objects like tables and chairs. Remember that the pipe and drape is designed to only support the drape. Do not hang anything on it that weighs more than 10 pounds. Allow plenty of time to set up carefully and safely. Keep your shoes on at all times and do not wear open-toed shoes during move-in and move-out. Report any problems or accidents immediately to your floor manager or to the KBiz show office. All exhibitors should consider ordering booth security to watch their booth and materials. Exhibitors are responsible for their exhibit products and personal belongings throughout move-in, show days, and move-out at all times. Exhibitors should carry insurance to cover against loss and theft or damage to their exhibit material. Laptops, cell phones, tablets, purses, and other small items are especially vulnerable to theft. Do not leave these items unattended in your booth at any time. In cases where valuable equipment may not be removed on a daily basis, the services of a private booth card can be valuable. Booth security can be ordered from the official security provider of KBiz, Special Operations Associates Incorporated. KBiz Show Management provides perimeter security to control access into the exhibit halls throughout move in, the show, and move out. Show management shall not be held responsible for the loss of any material by any cause and urges the exhibitor to exercise normal precautions to discourage loss due to theft or any other cause. Communication is the key to success. Please be sure to communicate all problems on site to KBiz Show Management, the floor manager or Freeman concierge for your area or the Freeman Service Center. Please do not wait until after the show to alert someone of a problem. Please give us all the opportunity to help solve the problem while we are still at the show. And now it is time for the show. General show hours will be 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Tuesday, February 19th through Thursday, February 21st. The South Halls S1 and S2 on the lower level of the South Building and the Salon by KBiz will open to attendees at 8 a.m. on all show days. North Halls N1 and N2 in the North Building and Central Halls C4 and C5 in the Central Building will open to attendees at 9 a.m. on all show days. All halls close at 5 p.m. on all show days.
Here are some locations that will be handy to know while you are at KBiz. Prior to arriving in Las Vegas, please review your booth number and which building and exhibit hall your booth is in. Also, remember where the exhibitor service centers are located for your hall. For booths in the North Halls N1 and N2 and Central Halls C4 and C5, the Freeman Service Center is in the Central Hall and the service area under Halls C1 and C3. All other providers will be found in the lobby outside of Hall C4. For booths in the South Halls S1 and S2 and the Salon by KBiz, the Exhibitor Service Center is located in Hall S1 in aisle SL1900 behind booth SL1815. KBiz Show Management can be found in two office locations. The show office for the North and Central buildings will be in room N245 on level two of the North building. The show office for the South building and salon by KBiz will be in room S109 on the lower level of the South building inside hall S1 and S2. KBiz sales offices, where you will go to reserve space for KBiz 2020 during your scheduled appointment time, can be found in two locations. The sales office for the North and Central buildings will be in room N247 on level 2 of the North building. The sales office for the South building and salon by KBiz will be in room S118 on the lower level of the South building inside hall S1 and S2. First aid rooms will be located in all three buildings and open during move-in, show days, and move-out. Should you need Las Vegas Convention Center security or SOA security, KBiz's contracted security company, both will have offices at the Convention Center during KBiz. Hotel shuttles will pick up and drop off outside the North and Central buildings and outside of the South building and salon by KBiz. Taxi pickup and drop off is available outside the North and Central buildings and outside of the South building. Uber and Lyft will drop off outside of the North and Central buildings and outside of the South building. Uber and Lyft will have two designated pickup locations. One is in the blue lot outside the back of the Central building entrance at Hall C5, and the other is in the bronze lot outside the south building entrance between the renaissance hotel and the salon by kbiz when arranging a pickup with uber and lyft go to one of these two locations and schedule your pickup a number will be assigned and you will meet your driver in the parking spot with that number dcw information counters to help answer your kbiz and ibs questions will be located inside each of the three buildings lobbies it is always good to know where the closest food and beverage outlets are, so be sure to observe their locations on the path to your booth as well as the closest outlets in proximity to your booth. It is also helpful to know where restrooms are, so note the restrooms on the path to your booth as well as the closest restrooms in proximity to your booth. Once the show closes at 5 p.m. on Thursday, February 21st, move out begins. Please review the move out schedule here and note that all booths must remain set until 5 p.m. on Thursday, February 21st. Exhibitors in the Salon by KBiz must be completely clear by Friday, February 22nd at 5 p.m. and outbound carriers must arrive and check in no later than 2 p.m. on Friday, February 22nd. Freeman will begin returning empty containers on Thursday, February 21st as soon as the aisle carpet is removed from the exhibit hall floor. Exhibitors are allowed 24-hour access to the exhibit hall during move out, but the exhibitor service desk will only be in operation during these noted hours and services provided by Freeman and other vendors may be limited outside of these times. Outbound carriers for all halls must arrive and check in no later than 8 a.m. on Monday, February 25th. Freight will be forced beginning at 8 a.m. on Monday, February 25th in all exhibit halls. All booths must be completely removed by 12 noon on Monday, February 25th for those exhibitors in the North, Central, and South halls. 
For access to the exhibit halls during move out, exhibitors should continue to wear their KBiz exhibitor badge during all days of move out. EACs will be given access to the show floor starting at 5 p.m. on Thursday, February 21st. Similar to move in, EACs should not be given badges and instead pick up wristbands on all days of move out at the EAC check in desks in the designated locations for all exhibit halls and pick up the daily color and pattern wristband. Freeman will begin returning empty containers on Thursday, February 21st, as soon as the aisle carpet is removed from the exhibit hall floor. Empty container return may take up to several hours to complete. Due to the large amount of freight and containers on the show floor at the same time, your empty containers may be delayed due to a lack of open space around your booth to place them. Please take all steps necessary to allow space around and or within your booth so you and your neighboring booths can receive all empty containers as quickly as possible. Be sure to download and sign in to the Freeman Online mobile app and allow for notifications so that you can be alerted when your empty containers are returned to your booth. Every outbound shipment will require a material handling agreement and shipping labels. Freeman will be happy to prepare these for you and deliver them to your booth prior to show close. To take advantage of this service, please complete the outbound shipping form found in the KBIS Exhibitor Services Kit and return it to Freeman in advance of the show or at the Freeman Service Desk on site. Each shipment must have a completed material handling agreement in order to ship materials from the show and all pieces must be labeled individually. Once Freeman receives your outbound shipping form, Freeman will create your material handling agreement and shipping labels. If the shipping information is provided in advance, the material handling agreement will be delivered to your booth with your invoice. Otherwise, the material handling agreement and labels will be available for pickup at the Freeman Service Center on site. After materials are packed, labeled, and ready to be shipped, the completed material handling agreement must be turned in at the Freeman Service Center. Call your designated carrier with pickup information. Please refer to the Freeman Quick Facts in the Exhibitor Services Kit for specific dates, times, and the address for pickup. In the event your selected carrier fails to show by the final move out day, your shipment will either be rerouted on Freeman's carrier choice or delivered back to the warehouse at the exhibitor's expense. For your convenience, approved show carriers will be on site to book outbound transportation if you have not made arrangements in advance. Exhibiting companies are required to make cleaning and labor arrangements for both material dismantle and or removal. It is expected and required that all the exhibiting material be removed at the end of the show. It is not appropriate for bulk material to be left in the aisles during move-in or left behind during move-out. This includes, but is not limited to, flooring, large boxes and crates, racks, exhibit displays, or literature. If the exhibiting company does not want any or part of their exhibit material, arrangements for cleaning labor and dumpster disposal need to be made in advance through Freeman. Exhibitors that do not comply with this policy and leave excessive literature and or display materials in their booth during move-in or move-out will be deemed guilty of material abandonment. If an exhibitor leaves behind any bulk trash that is not labeled for shipment out or donated to a local charity that will pick it up, it will be deemed as trash and the exhibitor will be charged for the removal of these items. These charges may include installation and dismantle labor, forklift and rigging labor, dumpster fees, or other equipment if deemed necessary. Should an exhibitor not want to incur these charges, please do not discard trash in the aisles during move-in without making disposal arrangements with Freeman and make sure that your booth is completely clean with all leftovers removed before leaving the convention center. If you wish to donate any of your products or booth materials at the conclusion of the show instead of shipping them out, multiple charitable organizations will be at KBiz at the conclusion of the show accepting donations. Donations save you the cost of shipping your materials back and are also tax deductible. 
The charitable organizations will provide labels to place on your donated items to mark them for pickup. Please be aware that booth structure is not considered a donation to show charity and should not be left behind. The charitable organizations that will be present at KBiz include Opportunity Village and Habitat for Humanity. To set up arrangements in advance, here are the contacts for both of these organizations. We hope this information has been helpful. Again, we are here to help throughout the process, so if you have any questions or need any assistance, please feel free to reach out to myself and Lisa. Thank you.